we have to get the Y by itself. So we have to move things away from the Y. Move things away from the Y. So what needs to go from the left-hand side because it does not have a Y attached to it? You guessed it, this negative six X. Doesn't have a Y attached to it. So we need to make it go. So we are doing our balance beams just like we do when we have numbers and a single letter. We need to move that negative six X out of there. So what are we gonna do to make it go? What do we wanna do to move a negative six X from one side to the other? Super close, Christian, super close. Add six X, not just six. We have to add six X to the left, which means we have to add six X to the right, okay? Now, the only problem is what's on the right-hand side does not have an X attached. So do not put the six X below that 10 put it slightly off because the six X and the 10 are not the same thing. The 10 does not have an X attached. You are not combining the six X with the 10. You're moving the six X to the other side, but he has no one, no X on the other side to combine with. Okay. So what is left on the left-hand side once we move that? Yes, a 2y. Now the 2y is going to equal what happened to the right-hand side, okay? So the 2y is going to equal the 10 plus the 6x. They can't combine. They just become buddies on the same side, okay? They become buddies on the same side because they're not the same things. One is an x and one is not an x. All right. Is the Y entirely alone? Let's look. Oh no, I see that there's a two here. So the Y is not entirely alone yet. I need to undo that multiply by two. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna undo the multiply times two. So what am I going to do? Divide everything by two, both sides of the equation, which means everything. So that means we have a two Y that divides by two. Arrow, put the equal sign. We have a six X, because remember it's Y equals M X plus B. So I'm moving the X where it should be divided by two. And we have a positive 10 dividing by two. So now it's not just divide both sides by two, it's divide every piece by two because the sides have more than just a single number. All right, that means two divided by two, one, it's all gone, right? So the left-hand side says what? The left-hand side says what? What's left on the left? <laughs> Just the one. And it's gonna equal, do the math for the right. Six X's divided by two X's what do we get? 3x. And positive 10 divided by positive 2, what do we get? Positive 5. Is this now y equals mx plus b format? Yes. So now we're going to go answer the questions that are down below about the y equals mx plus b format. 
And the first one says, what is the new equation? We just got it. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I just got. That is the new equation. So y equals mx plus b form is the new equation. Okay. Now, they want us to find growth. We know that this is y equals mx plus b form, right? That's what we just purposely did, right? So what letter, what letter is growth? M. Okay. What number did our growth end up being? Okay, now we haven't seen this phrase y, y intercept before. That's new. What piece of our equation do we think is the y intercept? Exactly, the B. Okay, the B is the y intercept. We have the new official total correct name for that B. Okay. We've called it starting point. We've called it beginning. It's real total official name is the white intercept. Okay. And the reason why it's called the white intercept is it's where it crosses intercepts with the Y axis, that big solid line down the middle. So what number value is our B? Five, but our intercept is a coordinate because it tells us a location to begin. So what would our coordinate be? Exactly, zero comma five. Remember our coordinates are just zero comma. Remember the start, the beginning, the y-intercept is when, y, when x is zero. So it's always gonna be zero comma number. Questions about that? Because what we just got done with 2B and 2C, we're going to do for each of the next problems. What we just got done with 2A and I mean 2B and 2C, we're going to be doing with the next few problems. So do we have any questions about what happened before we go up to 3A? Anybody have any questions about the process before we go up to 3A? And we're going to be doing 3A to 3F the same way. Okay, 3A to 3F, same way. Go up to three A. Um, okay, so we just went ahead and rearranged a standard form into a slope intercept form, okay? So let's go up and see what 3A has in store for us. Okay, so remember our goal is y equals mx plus b. That's the goal. OK, 
okay? So our goal is to get the Y alone. What is on the side with the Y that needs to go? Okay, so I need to undo what's already there and move it to the other side. So let's get our balance beams in. So I have to move that 2x. What am I gonna do to move the 2x? What would I do to get that positive 2x out of there? What would I do to get that positive 2x out of there? Yep, subtract 2x from both sides. Subtract the 2x from both sides. Okay, so let's go do that. Now, is there an x on the other side to catch it? Is there an x on the other side? Yes. So we're going to line it up with the x that's on the other side. All right. Going to line it up with the x on the other side. Whenever there is some of that number to move to, you will con you'll line it up. So I'm going to be lining the 2x up below the 3x. I'm going to line up the 2x below the 3x because they're both x's. They can be combined. Oops. I did the wrong thing. Okay. As long as it's a like type, you line it up below. Okay, you line it up as long as they're the same type on the other side. There was an X to match with it. But in the last one we did, there was no X for it to match with. But on the last one, there was no X for it to match with. Okay. Okay, so that means that on my left-hand side, the 2x is gone, right? And what is left? Just the y. Okay, now I go look to the other side, to the right-hand side. What else is on there? Yeah, so we have a one X minus seven, but we usually don't put the one. Okay, so it's an X minus a seven. So now we're going to do the same thing we just did at the end of the last one. 
identify the slope, identify the y-intercept. Identify the slope, identify the y-intercept. So I'm going to do some words. Let me do this first. Slope, which is our M. Remember, text boxes are words and numbers are equation under. And then y-intercept. Which is the big. So what's my slope for this one? No, my slope is not x. My slope is always a number. Ah, one, yes. My slope is one. And then my y-intercept is what? But remember, y-intercept really means coordinates. So yes, I agree, negative seven, but my negative seven is going to equal zero comma negative seven. Because in the long run, your y-intercept is a coordinate. Now, for all of these all the way down to f, I'm going to be doing the same thing here. So I'm going to go copy and paste. So I hit this little arrow. I hit the one that's a box. I highlight the piece I want. I'm going to say copy. And then I move down out of the way, maybe. Copy. And I'm going to paste and it'll paste it in a little box and I'm going to move it to where I want it. And then I paste again and I move it to where I want it. And I'm doing this all the way down to F. Paste. Paste. And then I'm just going to go through and change up the numbers instead of reinvent the wheel and do the same thing over and over and have to retype it. Nah. And that control V works the same way. It's still copy and paste, just like normal. Okay. So all I did was copy and paste the words so I don't have to rewrite them over and over and over. All right. Okay. All the way down to the bottom, all the way down to F. Our goal is Y equals MX plus B. That's our goal. So we look at our question. Is the y alone? No. So we need to get rid of what's not a y. And I know that's this x. OK, I know, I know it's that x, because that's not a y. So how am I going to move that x? What am I going to do to move that x? Subtract n x, which is the same thing as saying what? How many x's? OK, so what I'm going to do while I'm working the problem, I am actually going to say subtract 1x from this 3x. So I don't mess myself up and think, oh, I'm supposed to take the x off. No, you're not supposed to take the x off. You're supposed to reduce the numbers, OK? So an x minus an x is all gone. What's going on on the left-hand side? Two y. And my two y has to equal what's going on on the right-hand side. Yep, three minus one, two x plus four. 
plus four didn't change. Okay. Is the part that has a Y attached by itself now? Yes, so now we have to big one, the number away from that Y. We need to big one the, the number away. So we need to make this two go away by doing the opposite. It's now, right now, it's saying multiply by two. Right, right now it's saying multiply by two. So how would I undo multiply by two? How would I undo multiply by two? Divide both sides by two, yes. Actually, but remember, say actually in your head, divide all things by two. Because remember, we have more than one thing on the other side now, okay? Divide all parts by two. So the two Y has to divide by two and the two X has to divide by two and the positive four has to divide by two. Okay, divide all things by two, divide all parts by two, anything like that. Okay. Okay, so what's it gonna clean up to be then? It's going to clean up to y equals x plus 2. Okay. It's going to clean up to y equals x plus 2. Because 2 divided by 2 is the number 1. x divided by 2 is the number 1. Right? Those are all number 1s. y equals Oops, x plus two, because four divided by two is two. So here's my equation. What's my slope number? What's the number in front of the X? What's the number with the X? I didn't ask for B. What's the number with the X? One, yes. OK, 
Okay, so that stayed the same, but the B is what changed. And the B turned to a positive two. In my coordinate. Okay, so we're rearranging again. Are the Y's together on the left hand side? Are the Y's together on the left hand side? Because Y equals MX plus B. No, so we need to get the Y's together first. Y has got to go left. Y equals MX plus B. So what am I going to do to get that Y over with his buddies? What am I going to do? Y has to go left. Y's have to be Y equals MX plus B. Y's have to be on the left-hand side. So, uh, yes, we need to subtract the 2Y from the right side because it shouldn't be on the right side. The Y should not be on the right side. So subtract 2Y from both sides. Okay, so if I do the math on the left-hand side, what am I gonna have left on the left-hand side? If I handle the math on the left-hand side, what's gonna be left? Yes, one Y plus two. But do we usually say one Y? No, so we're gonna say Y plus two has to equal what happened to the right-hand side once we zeroed out the y. What was left? Negative five x is what it was. See, I see a subtraction symbol. That's the same thing as negative. Okay, is the y completely alone? Is the y completely alone? No, what's with the Y that needs to go? The positive two. How are we gonna make that positive two go away? How are we gonna move it to the other side? Subtract two from both sides, yes. Now, is this two the same type as the five X? No, so we have to make sure when we move them to the other side, because it doesn't have an X attached, that we do not line it up with the X because there is no X attached to that two. There's no X on that two. So we can't line them up with the X's because he's not an X. Okay, so what's left for the left hand side? Just the one. And that Y is going to equal what happened to the right hand side. Yep, negative 5X minus 2. Okay, now we have to change our slope number because it's not 1. What's the slope number for this one? Negative 5. Because it's the number in front of the X. Y equals M and M is what we want, okay? And what's the B for this? What's the Y intercept? Negative two, and I would write that as the coordinate zero, negative two. Okay. Any questions about those so far? Remember your goal, Y alone on the left, MX plus B on the right, okay? Okay, so we look. 
what does this problem have that the other ones haven't had yet? What does this problem have that we have to handle first? Distribution, yes. Okay, we have to handle the distribution. We have to show our distribution like we did before. So we're gonna go get our little line and we're gonna distribute the two to each piece, right? And we're gonna show the math. So this says two times the y positive two times the negative three has to equal the two X minus six, okay? Has to equal the two X minus six. Any questions about that? We've done a few of those. What's it gonna clean up to say? What's it gonna clean up to say? Yes, that two Y minus six is gonna equal two X minus six. Exactly, nice. Two Y minus six is gonna to have to equal to X minus six. We now have it as cleaned up as we can, so we're gonna do our balancing down the equal sign, whatever we have on the left, we're gonna do on the right. We need the Y piece alone. We need the Y piece alone. Okay. So what's on the Y side that doesn't have a Y attached to it? What's on the Y side that doesn't have a Y attached to it? Oh, that negative six. So we have to move that negative six. We have that zero out, big zero, that negative six. What are we going to do to big zero that negative six? We're going to add six to both sides. We're gonna to have to add the six to both sides. So add six here, plus six to the left, means I have to add six to the right. We add it to the like thing, okay? We add it to the six, not to the two X, because it does not have an X attached to it. I can't line it up with the X piece, okay? I can't line it up with the X piece because it doesn't have an X attached to it. Okay, left side, it becomes the number zero, right? So what's left for the left-hand side to say? Two Y. And that two Y is gonna equal, okay, right-hand side, I see a two X, but then what happens six minus six? That is also a zero, right? But I'm gonna say plus zero for now. And you will understand why, because remember we want this and y equals mx plus b form. We need to know the m and the b. 
We don't want to have B disappear. Okay, so I'm going to say plus zero on the right hand side. It'll clean up at the very, very end. Don't worry about it. But along the way, we want to have it still there. Is the piece with the Y completely alone? Is the piece with the Y completely alone? Is the Y have nothing but a Y? No. What needs to go? The two. That Y can't have that two there and be done. We need it Y alone. So what do we need to do to make that Y be completely and totally alone? Divide all parts by two. Yeah, remember, we got to say that all parts part in our head because there's more than one thing over there. Okay, so we're going to divide all parts by two. The two y is going to divide by two. The two x is going to divide by two. And the zero is going to divide by two. So we're going to divide by two to all parts. Okay. Two divided by two, number one. So what's left for the left hand side? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two divided by two, again, the number one. So there's only an X over there. Zero divided by two is zero. This is now Y equals MX plus B form, but it is not the final cleaned up answer. Okay, it is not the final cleaned up answer. The final cleaned up answer would drop out that zero. So Y equals X. So your final, final step on anything like this is to drop out that zero, plus zero because you don't need it, okay? But we wanted it in Y equals MX plus B form so we could answer our question. What is the slope? What's in front of the X? Number one. Okay. And then what's our Y intercept? What number's at the back? Zero which means that this is crossing through the origin, zero, zero, and it is a proportional equation. And we learned that before at the very beginning, proportional equations. We learned that before with the proportional equations. Okay. Questions about that? Okay. 3E. What's it got? So we need to clean out of there. It has distribution. So let's go show our distribution. Let me go do the distribution lines. <laughs> Distribute. Show the distribution steps. Five minus three times the X minus three times the one has to equal two Y minus three X plus two. I just showed the distribution. That's all I did. 
So now we got to do the math for the distribution. What's it going to become? Yep, five minus three X, oops, wrong spot, do over, you do up here. Five minus three X, this should not have another five right here. That was the typo part. Minus three is gonna equal the two Y minus the three X plus the two. We didn't do anything to the left side. We just cleaned up the right hand side. I mean, we didn't do anything to the right. We cleaned up the left. Okay. Do both sides have as simple as they can get? Or do you see one of the sides has more than one of the same type of thing? Do you see that one of the sides has more than one of the same type of thing? Okay. So we need to clean that up before we can put our balance beam in. We can't leave that combined like term sitting there. We have to do it. So what are we going to clean up the left-hand side to? We have to clean it up. How is it going to clean up? Oh, okay. Because they're not the same thing, we have to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger. So it becomes a two minus three X. Nice. Did we do anything to the right side? No. So we just write the right hand side again. So we have a two minus a three X equals a two, oops, two Y minus a three X plus two, right? We didn't do anything to the right-hand side. It's still the same stuff. Both sides are cleaner. Both sides are as simple as they can get. So now we put our balance beam in. I forgot that was on circle, but I made it work. Okay, we need the stuff to move away from the Y. So what are we going to do? What's going to move away from the Y? The negative 3X, yes. Because it is not a Y. How are we going to move that 3X away from the Y? Add 3x on both sides of the equal sign. Yes. So why are you being weird? I'm going to add 3x to the left, and I'm going to add 3x to the right, and I'm adding them to the x's piece, right? Because they are x, so they got to go to the x. Oh. I hate when you go to copy and you hit that paste button instead. OK. Now, on the left-hand side, it says two minus three X plus three X. What's gonna happen? What's this minus three X plus three X gonna do? Become zero. So what's left for the left-hand side? Just the two, exactly. 
And then on the right hand side, what do you know? It's a 3x minus a 3x again. So that's again zero. So what's left for the right hand side? Two y plus two, seven. Is the y component completely alone? No, what is not a y, but it's over on that y side? That positive two, exactly. So we need to kick him out. He needs to big zero. What are we gonna do to big zero him? Subtract two from both sides. Okay, so let's see. We subtract two from the left and we subtract two from the right. Now, when I do that, two minus two is what number? Two minus two is what number? Zero. So the left says zero equals. And the right hand side, I big zeroed out the two. So what's left? I big zeroed out the two, so what's left? Mm -hmm. The two y. Is the y piece completely alone? No. What's with the white piece that needs to go? No. That's right, there's a two in front of that y. That's a no, no. There's a two in front of that y. Now, I need to work with this. And what side is Y supposed to be on when I'm done? Left. So I'm going to go rewrite it up over on the other side the correct way before I move on. This says 2Y equals 0 before I move on. So I don't forget that the Y has to be on the left side when I'm done. Okay. And what am I doing to get rid of that two in front of the y? Dividing what? Both sides by two. Okay, so two y divided by two, zero, has to equal zero divided by two. has to equal zero divided by two. Okay. So someone tell me what is zero divided by two? What's that equal? Zero. Ooh, that's way up there. Move it down a little bit. So what's left on the left hand side now that we've got the two out of there? Y. And our Y has to equal what? What did the right side become? Y equals zero, but I need this in Y equals MX plus B format, right? What happened to the X way back here? It became zero X, right? Plus zero. Right? Just like this one up here was just an x plus zero because it was a one x plus zero. Since the x is completely gone, this is zero x's plus zero. For the final, final answer of y equals zero. Okay. Now, why we wrote it that way is so we could tell the m and we can tell the b. What is the M for the y-intercept form of the problem? What's the M? Zero, exactly. And what's the B? Zero, exactly. So we again are going through the origin, but this is a straight line. 
It has no slope. It's a straight line. It's just a straight line. Let's do this type before we go into our next stage. What do we see that the problem has that we need to clean up? What do we see that the problem has that we need to clean up? Distribution. So we're going to go handle that. What's in front of this parentheses and behind the negative sign that we just don't see but we know is there? One. So we're going to put the one in there because we know that there's one of it. It is negative one times y and negative one times two. And then this side has a positive two times two x and a positive two times one. Okay, so I started with an x and I have a negative one times a y and I have a negative one times a two. And then I say equals and I have a two times a two x and a positive two times a positive two times one. Okay. All I did was spread out the distribution. And we gotta go do the cleanup to make it look like numbers again. If I multiply negative one times the pieces, it's just gonna change their signs, no big deal. So X minus one Y, no, yes minus two has to equal. Now go do the math of the other side, the two times, the two times, what's that gonna be? Four X plus two, okay. So all that negative on the outside did was say, change my signs, change my signs. Don't stress about it. We need to have what? by itself. Why? So what is on the side with y that needs to get out? Two things. What two things need to go? The negative two and the x. We always move letters first. How many x's are there that we know? How many x's right here? in this problem at the front. What number should I put in front of this X? One, okay. That way I remember how to move it. I don't wanna think that I'm subtracting an X off and then the X disappears. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying one of the X's is going to move. So how am I gonna move that one X? Subtract one X from both sides, exactly. Subtract one X from the left. Subtract one X from the right. Make sure you line it up with his left X buddy. Okay. One X minus one X is all gone. What is left for the left hand side? No, what is left? for the left-hand side. Ah, negative one y minus two. Yes. And that has to equal the right-hand side, which says what? Three x plus two. Okay. Is the y completely and totally alone? Is the Y completely and totally alone? No. So we need to big zero again. We need to get that two out of there to the other side. So what are we gonna do? Yes, we're gonna add two X to both sides. Plus two, not two X, plus two. I said X and I didn't mean to, sorry. And we add two. Whatever we do on the left, we have to do on the right. All right. We big zeroed the two out of there. 
what is left on the left hand side, a negative one by. Exactly. What is left on the right hand side? A 3x plus 4. Exactly. Is the y completely and totally from those? No. I see this negative 1. It's multiplying right now. How are we going to fix it? How are we going to fix it? It's multiplying right now. How are we going to fix it? Divide both sides by negative one. Yes. So I'm moving it over here so I can do it. Because I want more space. So I have to divide both sides by the negative one. So that means I have a negative one y, but I'm dividing by negative one. Yes, you have to highlight it to show the divide, okay? And that has to equal a three x that's dividing by negative one and a positive four that's dividing by a negative one. And we want that positive four up too. Okay, that's what happened. Every piece is dividing by negative one. What's left for the left hand side? Just the y, which was our goal. What's left for the right hand side? Negative three X I agree with. Oh, it has to minus four now. Because remember, dividing by a negative, multiplying by a negative just changes their sign. Because multiplying by one isn't changing anything. So if you multiply or divide by one or multiply or divide by, you know, when we multiply or divide by one, it changes nothing. But if it's a negative one, it changes our sign. Okay, so be careful that whenever we're multiplying or dividing by negative one, it's just changing the signs. All right, so according to my new equation, what is my slope? According to my new equation, what is my slope? Negative three, the number in front of the X. According to my new equation, what's the B? Negative four is going to equal zero, negative four, the coordinate. <clears throat> okay. I'm doing pretty good. Remember, we finish what we can finish. Don't stress the small stuff. Move on. At least did something. Solve for y means get the y alone. What do I have to do first? Distribute. Okay. My two times my y and my positive two times the negative three has to get me four. All right? To show the distribution. Now go do the math. What does it clean up to be? What does that clean up to be? Oh, 2y. Oops. <clears throat> 2y minus 6 is going to equal 4. Okay. Are we as clean as we can get so we can do our balance beam? Yes. I don't see two letters. I don't see two numbers. Okay, balance beam. Big zero, what? What's gonna go? Okay. Right. 
And we're going to do that by opposite. So adding six to both sides. Some hard stuff in here. Okay. And we got to make sure we line it up with the correct stuff. Right. All right. Tell me what does that clean up to be? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's 20, it's not. Oops, 10. Okay. 2y. Thought I clicked it, but I didn't. Two y's have to equal 10. Because the sixes went away, they became zero. What needs to move now? What needs to move now? The two that's with the y. Yep. The two that's with the y has to go. So how are we going to undo the two that's with the y? Mm -hmm. Let's divide both sides by two. 2y is divided by 2 has to equal a 10 divided by a 2 so that we're in balance, right? We know the 2 divided by 2 became 1, so it's unimportant. What's the left-hand side going to say? What's the right-hand side going to say? What's it going to look like as a final answer? Y equals 5. Okay. Okay. We okay with that? Okay, what does this say it wants us solving for this time? For the x. So is it different than our process for solving for y's? No, it's just we're targeting a different letter. We're just targeting a different letter. It's not a different process. It's just we're targeting a different letter. We want the x to stay. So what needs to go? The 5y. Yeah. So you just look to see what piece do they want to stay? And the process is the same as we've been doing, okay? So this says to solve for X, it says leave X alone. So we need to move that five Y. So I am going to do what to move that five Y? Yep, subtract five Y from both sides, exactly. So, Subtract 5y from the left. Subtract 5y, but do not line it up with the 10 because the 10 doesn't have a y on it. So we can't line the 5 up with it, okay? We can only line things up if they have the same letter or they both don't have a letter. All right, what's left for the left-hand side to be if we got rid of the y piece? 2x. And that has to equal letters first. Letters are always first. So how would we say that if letters are supposed to come first? Negative 5y plus 10. That is a negative with the five. That is a positive because it has no symbol with the 10, okay? Okay. That five was minus five Y. 
That 10 has no sign, which we know means zero, it means positive. Okay, is the X completely alone? No, what's with the X that needs to go? The two. How are we gonna move that X out of there? What is it doing right now? Oops, yeah, so we need to divide both sides by that too, because it's a 2x, that means it's multiplying. Okay, so 2x divided by two has to equal a negative five divided by a two. Why? Because remember, we don't have it on the, and it has to equal a positive 10 divided by two, every piece gets divided by two. Okay, so what does it simplify down to? <clears throat> I know this twos go away. What does it simplify down to? No decimals, just simplified fractions. Okay, no decimals, we've talked about that, no decimals. So X equals negative five over two, Y plus five, no decimals. Just simplified fractions, okay? This next one says solve for y. Isn't that what we did before? So what would be my first piece to do? Mm -mm. Small letter to big letter. I see there's two Y's. Those Y's have to pull together first. Whenever those two are the same thing, they have to pull together first. Okay, so what are we doing? Small letter to big letter. What are we doing? to move the small letter to the big letter. Ah, subtract three y from both sides, okay. So subtract three y, subtract three y. We'll deal with the fact that the y is on the wrong side at the end, not along the way, okay? Left side now says what? Left side now says what? Six, and the six has to equal what? Six X is equaling Y plus 11. Yeah, I'm not writing one Y because I don't have to move it. I don't have to move the Y and I don't have a number in front of it and it's not negative, okay? We need the Y piece by itself. What needs to go? The 11 is not a Y. We need the Y piece alone. So what are we gonna do to get that Y piece alone? Mm -hmm. Subtract 11 on both sides. Left side, is it an X? No, so I cannot line it up with the X right side. You cannot line up with an X if it does not have an X attached to it. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna write this in the right order with the Y on the left side, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix its orientation. So my Y has to equal 
We want y equals mx plus b. So what are we going to list next? The 6x. Mm -hmm. And then minus 11. OK. So don't stress about worrying about the y along the way. You can fix it at the very end step if you have to. Last problem. What do we do first? Distribute. Yay, root. Root. We have a 3 times a 2x. Positive 3 times a positive 4. Equaling a 2 plus a 6x plus a 10. Right? We just did the distribution. What does the left side clean up to be once we do the distribution? What does the left side clean up to be once we do the distribution? 6x plus 12. And that has to equal a 2 plus a 6x plus a 10. Now, is the right-hand side as clean as it can get? No, it has this 2 and it has this 10. Those need to pull together. So what's the right-hand side going to clean up to? A 6x plus 12. OK. So my rule says I'm supposed to get rid of my letter. So how would I get rid of my letter, my 6x? What would I do to both sides to get that 6x out of there? 6x out of there. I would subtract a 6x from both sides, right? When I subtract a 6x from both sides, what's going to be left? When I subtract a 6x from both sides, what's going to be left? No, not 0. There's still stuff there. When I subtract a 6x from both sides, what do we have left? Oh, we have 12 equaling 12. Now, is this a true or a false statement? It is true. Whenever we have a true statement, our answer is infinitely many solutions. Okay. If we get a false, it's no solution. If we get a true, it's infinitely many solutions. And yes, we have to get rid of that 6x out of there to end up with it either true or false. We have to get rid of the variables completely. Any questions? OK, turn in what you got. It's OK that it's not fully complete. Turn in what you got. Get turn in on the assignment. Okay, and have a good day.